You're listening to Nuestra Gente with Linda Parra. celebrating all the different cultures and heritage that makes up Toledo in Lucas County. Um, not just that, but City of Toledo just received certification as a welcoming community, so we're celebrating that as well. We had dancing from all sorts of different countries. We had from Saudi Arabia, we had from India, we had poetry readings with our um, poet laureate and bilingual poetry readings in languages like Italian and Tagalog, in Urdu, in Spanish and in Arabic. We've got classic mariachi and Latin music also. So it's just a wonderful way for us to get together as a community and celebrate everything that just makes it so beautiful to live and, 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 and work and celebrate and raise your kids here in Toledo and Lucas County. Well, we're here today at the picnic for uh, the Human Relations Commission uh, celebrating um, our, uh, our certification as an officially welcoming community uh, here in the city of Toledo. We just went through the certification process. Um, we're one of only 16 cities in the entire country that has been certified by an organization called Welcome America as a welcoming city and that's a measure of how we work with uh, our different cultural communities and immigrant communities linking them to jobs and resources housing uh, uh, you know programs involving language access in other words it's not uh, subjective you have to achieve real results in order to be declared a welcoming community and I'm proud to say that uh, we won that award this week one of only 16 cities in the country and Lucas County has also been certified welcoming we're the only city county in the whole country um, to both be certified as a welcoming community so we're having a little gathering and a picnic today to celebrate our culture and our diversity and and uh, we're enjoying ourselves we are here today at the library kicking off celebration for welcoming week and this year is really excited because we are city of Toledo joined Lucas County as a welcoming certified. Uh, what it means is a designation by welcoming America that our city and our county welcome any women's immigrant, not just women, our community member, immigrant, refugee, diverse group of women, and everybody can belong in city of Toledo. So on behalf of the city of Toledo, it's just wonderful to be here and to kind of brag a little bit uh, on uh, the great work that uh, our Human Relations Committee and so many other groups do. And with that, I know and we're a welcoming community when like every weekend in the summer there's something going on in South Toledo, East Toledo, North Toledo to celebrate the cultures that we have. And any one weekend we would have Indian Festival, the Latino Festival, a Buddhist Festival, uh, a Jazz Fest downtown, the African American Festival downtown. So I know the score looks nice, uh, but it doesn't mean anything if it's not felt out here in the streets, neighborhoods of, of Toledo and Lucas County. We have that. We're so, we're so lucky to have that. So um, You can see it in our gatherings, in our culture, in our restaurants, uh, in the languages that we have in, in Toledo and Lucas County. So uh, the proof is not just in the certificate, but that's nice. People, we want other people to believe it too. And as um, both of them mentioned, we can't do this without our partner. So if you see it right here on my left, it's all Welcome TLC supporting partner. So we want to I'm Johnny McIntyre. I'm the uh, Lucas County Poet Laureate. We want to um, explore the gorgeousness of different languages. That's what poetry is at its heart, is the love of language. 
So we have an incredible opportunity today to hear a bunch of different voices, and I mean from all over the world. I'm Saya Catucci. Uh, is going to be reading in Italian. L'infinito di Giacomo Leopardi. Sempre caro mi fu quest'ermo colle. I saw kids going to school. I wanted to go to school too, but I couldn't. I wanted new things like clothes and shoes, but I couldn't have those things either. My dad worked from morning to night, but his job. We always live together. My father, my nine-year-old brother, my four-year-old sister, and me. A dinner invitation by Manal Bali. My teacher asked us if we could invite anyone to dinner, who would we and why? If I could invite anyone to dinner, I would invite my dad because I would like to see him in person and talk with him. I miss him. To find the her by my side in the same class room. We ate, drank, laughed, and talked with each other. You made me realize a friendship. Hello, everyone. I hope you're having a good day. Um, I made a poem about a year ago, and I would like to read it to you. I very love airplanes. It flies at speeds like Sonic. At night, they fall asleep to escape the day. In the morning, they wake more fearful of the night. Umtu, umtu, gabantu. I am because you are.